kind of like a uh, egg shape, but a little bit more squared off tail. Oh, and then got obviously like the knuckle splitters. I've got this one here is his goothrax, so his egg shape, which is pretty dope. Uh, and then I also have let's see, I've got the little devil, which is like his tiny boards. That graphic is so badass, dude. Yeah, this one's dope. And then what else? I got some other shapes. I've got like a 33 popsicle from him. Uh, and then I've got the old uh, Goo Lord. So this is the Goo Lord. He just switched up the shape a little bit more. But it's got like the same kind of ridges at the bottom that like the Knuckle Splitter has. But mm -hmm. then it has like a really big like shovel nose. That's raw, dude. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. But yeah, when it comes to that finger space coat, I don't know, like, one, I know every single one of their uh, uh, ramps and obstacles, they, like, jacked it from another company, and they just do, like, uh, 3D printed versions of them. Because, like, even their circle one, is jack is like the jack version of this with this right here yeah dude they sent so if you've me, seen their circle edge they sent an ad that actually have that printed on there i'll second find it <laughs> yeah so the, some of those companies will just jack ideas from other companies it's kind of goofy that's just crazy bro yeah i i just been i'm gonna order a new setup after that the whole thing was just kind of a loss altogether so and i think i'll probably honestly be better with a better setup because like when i started getting better wheels and better stuff bro i feel like i was getting better bro no and that's really what it is i tell everyone it's just like buying like a a good complete full-size skateboard right? compared to like a walmart skateboard like a tech deck and like those lower brands like P Rep, uh, mm -hmm. Teak, like mm -hmm. all those brands are like lower tier. Once you get like Goo, Broadcast, any Chem stuff, like you're getting a much higher quality components. Dude, yeah, Chem's is my buddy on here. He DMs me sometimes, and I'm like, whoa, dude, Chem Yeah, Chem's. Chem's is dope. I use his tape, the F4 tape. That's like my favorite tape. Dang, that's a good record. I need to order from him, bro, because I love those little mini sticker uh, joints he has. Oh, dude, right? And Goo has here. Look, real quick, I'll show you some Goo uh, sticker packs as well that are just, they go crazy. One minute, let me grab them. So both of these, I've got this one full of just random Goo stickers, <laughs> and then this one's a bunch of different companies. But uh, let me pull out some of the goo stuff. So I'll probably have to bring you back into the light so you can see it better. But, like, this is one of his small sticker packs. Oh, that's so – those are from the boards, huh? Yeah. So if you see the circle part, the circle one that looks like graffiti or whatever, the goo fingerboards. So, like, the one that's on top of the smiley face and on bottom of the smiley face. Those ones I actually designed for him. Whoa, dang, that's crazy. Yeah. So that's like my graffiti, like, uh, hand styles. So oh, my name yeah. in graffiti is also just Rose. So like, that's like my graffiti. Oh, so you be, like, so you be getting the stickers and stuff, sticker game in and yep. stuff? That's oh, yeah, cool. I love it. Around town, I like throwing up little stickers and then also doing, like, yeah like marker hand styles i don't really get out with a can or anything around town but yeah, but yeah he's, got, he's got like the crazy sticker packs like look at these ones these little tiny guys are sick those are freaking sweet dude right i like Kim's, Kim's stuff is just as cool oh yeah, yeah. And, then, and then on the sneak goo made these ones but he never like released them because technically he made them for himself. Damn. But they're full of here, yeah, these ones here, like he never really gave out because like he could get in trouble. But like it's oh. all like board bands. Dude, that's sick as hell, dude. Right. So I ended up like I saw that he had like, you know, a band sticker on his like little fingerboard. I'm like, 
where the hell did you get that? He's like, I made them. And I was like, I need them. So I ended up like throwing him five bucks and he like gave me like seven or eight of those like packs of stickers. I was about to say, bro, how much could you get for like 20? I got 20 bill on it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for real. Um, Dude, everyone's always asking me, where'd you get the van stickers? Where'd you get that? I'm like, I can't say technically. Like, um, I got them on the sneak, you know? <laughs> Dude, you know what's funny, bro? Like, uh, all my hand skating clips get way more interaction than fingerboarding. Oh, like your your uh, your handboarding? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a small. I feel like it's something that like little kids in fingerboarding don't know too much about. So when they see it, they're like, oh, "Holy shit, this is dope!" You don't. I'm surprised you don't do no kind of handboarding, dude. So no, I don't. Just because one. It takes up – you need so much room to have, like, obstacles and whatnot. That's true. Uh, and then from there, uh, also, uh, I have a buddy who makes some of my obstacles, like this curved ledge he made, uh, and he also made this. My buddy, uh, he is a really big hand boarder, but he never really posts anything. He kind of just does it for himself. Okay. And it's super sick. Like, I used to – so I can hand board a little bit. Like, I can do, like – kickflip front nose slides and certain stuff like that i'm How not like crazy good but flip? i definitely have fun doing it oh for sure what's the secret to getting a kickflip just a two-hand motion uh. so it's like instead of like skateboarding where you slide forward you more push down so it's like a pop oh. and then push down with your front hands uh a little bit